you were buying the Huberto bounce back. I think your bold proclamation was 90 points. How are you feeling on that right now? Because uh, please sell us some hope. We don't have any. Uh, yeah, I mean, not feeling great on the 90 points, to be candid. Uh, look, I mean, I thought for sure the way he spoke and vibes around the team that this would be a totally different feel heading into this season. Um, I did, you know, take a look though, and not to say that it, it all, or that it's deserved or not deserved when I give you this stat, but I was, I was curious about this today after, you know, flying back, Jonathan Huberto's even strength ice time, 141st in the league among forwards. He hasn't you, when it. you when you hear that, do you say didn't hasn't earned it, or do you say yep. this is a guy that can't can't produce without getting more time? Every line he's on gets caved in. He turns over the puck like crazy, and he's played eighty eight or eighty nine games in Calgary, and I cannot remember a single one where he seemed to take over or be like, "Wow, that was vintage Huberto." And and the sample size is almost a hundred, Frank. Right. And I get that he didn't agree with the coach last year on some stuff, and it might not have been a fit. But I'm just sick and tired of all these excuses about left side, right side, line mates, coach this. Um, you know, like, it's just, he doesn't look like a very talented player. He doesn't look like a shell or like anything close to a guy that could even get a, a point per game. I, I don't know how this goes better. Sure. So where, like, but like, so let me just play devil's advocate to you for a second. And I'm not, uh, advocating or shilling for him, but my question, you said the one thing that was so jarring about what you said is he doesn't look like a very talented player. Like, where did it go? That's is a what guy we're trying that to figure out. points. Two years ago, and you're like one of the best playmakers in the league, and all of a sudden it's not there. What doesn't you don't just wake up one day and forget how to play hockey? Couple it's wild, things. couple things. I'm just, I'm again not a, a huge Huberto advocate, I haven't liked it from the start. But in the situation you're in, he hasn't earned the ice time. But I said to these guys before he came on, Frank, I said, What do you do with them? You put them in the rafters. But maybe the other approach is you go every other shift. I don't give it. I mean, w what's the downside? Play him 25 minutes a night. Till the Why wheels not? fall off. I mean, yeah. and then at least There's you've no... crossed one more thing off your list for him exactly. to say, hey, this isn't, this is why this can't work. A hundred percent. So, and then the other thing I said about it is, and we maybe it's, we're grasping at straws here. We'll take any type of hope. Maybe it's like you said, they're slow and they, and his game, Needs guys with some speed. Now he with might Sharon not be... and Dubé. Like they've tried all these. Dubé's the fast not too, fast right? though. Like okay. we keep thinking Dubé's fast, and I just I don't know that he's like I don't I think he's average speed around the league okay. at best. I just do, and I could it's be the wrong. First thing you I uh, you said Dubé fast. I was like pr I think pretty average speed, and then you said it. So Sharon Govich then. I mean, they try to. He's got games. wheels, yeah. I mean, right? and he. I, I said in in camp, he's the perfect player to play with Huberto. He is definitely not a, a brainiac by any stretch of the imagination when it comes to hockey IQ. Just get the puck and shoot. That's all you have to do. Get there and yeah. shoot. Fly, get open. And, and, and for all of this, who give him the fastest guys? Then, if we, I mean, we're trying to come up with a game plan mm -hmm. that might turn things around. It's a squint, but there's no downside to trying everything now. Yeah, it, it's it's hard, and it, I don't know if it's because of yesterday's game. The game Thursday, Frank, against St. Louis was, uh, to me, as bad as they've looked all year. They have not looked good much this year. They were they completing passes in the second period was a real challenge and a chore. It's something that they failed at, and it was in that period that I think Huberto had four or five shifts, sat for a good chunk of it, and I wonder if mm -hmm. that impacts because we're so early in the season the the shift. But it's you you don't see. I don't want to keep repeating myself and Ryan kind of said it. You don't even see kind of the flashes or there there's an example of the skill that this player has, which allowed him or saw him to be over a point per game or a, but it's points. gotta be there somewhere, right? That's the part that I'm struggling with. Yeah. We haven't seen it, but it didn't, it didn't just get lopped off on the flight from Florida to Calgary. Yeah. And Am I crazy? 
Well, and it, I, yeah, that's that's the great mystery, Frank, is where did it go and how do you get it back? Is it between the ears? Is he out of shape? Is is he mentally not, like, is, has he kicked his feet up since signing that deal? Is there stress of the environment too much? Like, coach Is it fair to say different? that in Florida there was, you had Barkov, did he have to be the guy? You had anonymity no matter what, because no one was yeah. talking about your team or your situation. Like there was no one being hard on you in Florida ever. Like there were seven people that knew. Yeah. But here's the thing. This is. So you get traded to Calgary, right? He could have easily just turned around and said, yeah, this isn't for me. I'll, Not with that I'll, I'll play one year here to finish out my deal. Mm -mm, come I'll on. become a UFA and I'll go play wherever. No. All that Look at the contract bonus. he got. Well, they, I'm they saying gave... once they did that, of course. Who? I mean, yeah. how many people are saying? But what my point is, you could have just said to the team, like, I this this place isn't for me. Like, I'm not, I'm not, this is not where I want to hang my hat. I don't think that's it at all. I don't think he's one of those guys that quakes under pressure. I think. If I were to wager on what I think the largest problem is, it's it's chemistry. It's trying to find someone that fits his style. Yep. And I, I think we all thought it'd be plug and play, you know, swapping out playmaker for playmaker, Gaudreau and and Huberto. And I it just You can say that and that's fine, but it comes back to me again where if you're ten and a half and we have to cater to finding you the right guys, then you aren't ten and a half. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.